Hello guys, welcome back. So today we we'll learn how to install SSL certificate on the our Apache server. For that, first we have to log in on my system. Let me log in again. It's um, like this one, one twenty-eight. I log in the system. Yes. This is my Apache server. First of all, like your Apache server should be run. Um, for that, first you have to check your package HTTP. Yeah, these are my packages already installed on my system. Check the service status HTTP. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it's running properly. Okay, let me open the page. Uh, it's um. 192.168.10.128 or yeah it's opening by default it's running on a pt port is zero right now let's go for the https i'm just trying to run https no my this website is not running on a secure protocol and that's called https it's uh, 443 and i want to install that certificate here so that um, my system can recognize whenever any of user open your website so they ask for the self-signed certificate for that okay so on the server side what we need to do we have to install some packages install mode underscore SSL now you just install this package after then you have to restart your system uh, service restart yeah let's restart successfully then what you need to do we have to create etc ssl ssl and private okay after this what we need to do we have to provide the permission right permission of this directory switch mode 700 etc ssl certificate um, yeah so we have to just uh, provide a permission of this file like um, ssl slash private whatever the um, directory structure you provide like this the private now what we have to generate a one certificate right once it is done generate a crt key right and drop into crt file okay and wait run the command open ssl right req x it's a little long command you have to just you know it's very hard to remember it notes and time like i provide it's uh, one year like three five right day have new key right mm, dot sorry r s a dot two zero four eight right hyphen mm, key out press etc ssl private we are private right and then type the name of certificate I'm tech technical technical iPhone self signed sign dot key key space hyphen out etc ssl right crt and the apache apa no apache it's technical technical it's technical and hyphen self in the instead of the technical you can type the name of your website whatever you want to host it 
I just type my one, right? It's asking for the country. Let me type in India, for reason in Delhi, and city is also Delhi, and company name is Technical, Technical Tech. Okay, and then enter organization. You need the ID department. Post name is A P A C H M. Server email ID root activate A P A C H M. Icons mm, yeah server activate dot com server dot com. Okay, my certificate is generated successfully. Okay, after that, what we need to do, we have to run the few more commands. Like, so now we have to generate a dot pam file, right? And for that, we have to run another command: open SSL, ph, pam, pam, right? Open out etc SSL CRT. Do we have to type the command name DREM dot EM? Provide the you know where you want to generate it. Let's so this type. Yeah, it's take a few few minutes to generate it. Of okay, is in it now. We have to run one more command the cat etc SSL certificate and CRT and DH in them and then run this command sudo sudo and T hyphen A etc SSL SSL CRT right and Apache, not Apache, it's um, we have technical, technical dot self, right? The idea of certificate. Oh, this is my entire certificate key number which um, is generated during the creating of certificate. Okay, after that, what we need to do, we have to open the file. Okay, like this, open this file, http and conf.g, right? and SSL certificate now what we need to do we have to search SSL no uh, it's take long time there are a lot of I believe SSL PRO TOCO protocol yeah okay this is we have to comment it uh, comment it okay and there would be one one more like down you can go down and you can see this one right now close this and save the file and uh, we have to open again this file and this file what we need to do now we have to specific name of our certificate okay and open this file and now what we need to find search SSL and CERT certificate these are the syntax uh, with the help of that you can find very easily right so that you don't need to you know worry about this P and let me comment this default mm, what the yeah why why P S and let me type here let me type the file name our certificate file if you remember I generate a file here on this location search slash pack nickel hyphen self signed dot crt right and go little down here you can see we have to specific also the key yyp and just command the default one so it should not read the default one 
then go then end of the file let's mm, TLS hyphen P uh, private hyphen technical hyphen self sign the key right okay now just save this file and we have saved the file now we have to check whatever the configuration we did is it correct yeah not config in the red cell you can run this command um, test yeah you can see this guys syntax is okay right and even there's another command which we use in the Red Hat 6 also this is also the same this either but in uh, Red Hat 7 there is a new command which come is uh, Apache is um, CTR right okay what we need to do next we have to just restart our Apache server System restart HTTP. Okay. Mm, yeah, our Apache server restart. Now, as I showed you last time, when you open this 192.168.10.128, dot ten dot one two eight. Yeah, my server is in the normal is running open, but uh, now let me type HTTP. If you remember last time, it was not working. When I type HTTPS, mm. it will take some time. Now you can see it asking for a certificate, right? Yeah, I said yes, right? You can see here. Yeah. And you can open it in browser also, Internet Explorer. Here you have to type HTTPS then 192.168.28, right? You can see this. View the certificate, right? self signed certificate as I show you that issued by Apache server issued by Apache server it is a valid certificate to you know this is this you can say CA root certificate is not trusted to enable a trust to install the certificate with a trusted root certificate authority store right so it is a self signed certificate it is not um, you know certificate which is uh, assigned by the CA right it is a self signed certificate here you can see that your certificate self signed certificate is working properly you can see issued by the server right and valid from 2000 today today date to 2018 if you remember we provide the um, number 365 that's uh, equal to one year okay So this is how we assign our self signed certificate on Red Hat 7. Okay. Thanks to watch this video. If you find this video helpful, please share with your friends and subscribe our channel.